Yo, what is up, everyone? It has been a minute since I've made a video and I've talked to you guys. The last time you heard from me, it was probably a video or a post on LinkedIn of me ranting about the OSCP. What was crazy is I made a post that almost went viral. I don't even know what it's at now, but man, that post of me complaining about uh, the OSCP course and price blew up, which should tell you something that there's more than just me who have those feelings about the offset training material. That being said, you might be wondering, so Tyler, did you give up? Are you still grinding? And the answer is I am still grinding and that's why you have not heard from me. Every single night, what I do is study and dig in and learn. So I wanna share with you guys four pieces of advice that have helped save my sanity as I gear up for my exam. And once again, my exam is December 8th and I'm recording this close to midnight on October 13th. So I am in about two months, a little less than two months before my exam date, but four really quick pieces of advice that have saved my sanity. And I have come close to just saying, screw it. I am done. I'm not doing this, but I'm going to do it. These four things help me. Number one, skip the flag exercises. If you are a current Pen 200 student, you know what I am talking about. For those of you who took the OSCP in the past, you had to go through the PDF, you had to write a lab report, which honestly sounded terrible in and of itself, but your lab report was just following the PDF and doing the labs alongside of the PDF. Well, the new format for the OSCP, and this is all public knowledge, I'm not sharing anything I'm not supposed to share, is they now have what I call a sub poor version of TriHackMe, where you have to do the PDF, but then after each module, they have certain labs that you have to do in order to get flags and the only way you get points is by submitting those flags but what i have learned is even if you know the material you're going to spend the bulk of your time debugging the bad grammar that offsec uses for those exercises and debugging the terrible tools and outdated methodology they have you do for those exercises as well i did the flags up until the linux buffer overflow portion of the course and i was just close to losing my mind so i said screw it I'm just going to focus on learning. I don't care about their stupid flags. I don't care about their stupid 10 points. I'm going to focus on learning and just try to enjoy the PDF. And that's been a lot better. So I'm not getting the 10 points. That's totally fine with me. But tonight, I finished going through all the PDF and I did all the labs that are in the PDF and documented all the things that were new to me. Now, I'm feeling a little bit more confident because as I was going through the PDF, I'd say about 90% of it were things that I already knew and it was more of a refresher and the other 10% of things are things that I am happy I learned. So I will give credit where it is due. Um, the PDF for their course, what they call a course is just a big PDF. Uh, is not worth $1,500. I would maybe pay $20 for it, but I do appreciate the content and the things I learned. But for your own sanity, just forget the 10 extra points, skip the flag exercises, focus on learning so that you can knock it out when you take that exam. Number two, form a study group to maintain your sanity. I have a group of three other people. We all met on the OFSEC uh, Discord, and we now have a group chat on Discord, so there's four of us, and we are just chatting back and forth as we study, as we find new tools, as we run into issues, just to encourage one another, and honestly, to complain to each other and to laugh together, right? If you do not laugh, you will cry. It is hard to do this alone. So find a study group, find a group of people that you can grind it out with, and help them, allow them to help you, and encourage one another as you were on this OSCB journey together. Number three, Realize it is okay to feel dumb. I have felt this way when I am doing the labs where I get entirely stuck and I think to myself, there's no way I'm gonna pass this exam in 24 hours. And the other people in my little study group I was telling you about, I've spoken to a few of them and they feel the same way. Like how the heck are they gonna pass it? But I think that's a common feeling. It's okay to feel dumb. It's okay to miss small things. It's okay that when you start in your lab, you get stuck and you feel like you're always going back to the forum to get the next hint. That's totally okay. The goal is to learn. So at the end of a lab, even if you were stuck, if you can answer the question, did you learn something that would be helpful on the exam? If the answer is yes, that is a win, right? Don't beat yourself up because you got stuck. Take that as a win, take that as success. And that leads into my final point, document everything. So here's kind of my methodology. I can't share with you my actual notes because my notes have the OSCP lab content in them. But what I'm doing is I use OneNote, and you may have seen this in my previous streams where I'm doing hack the box things. But what I do is I have OneNote and then I make sub pages. So I make a sub page for every port that's active. So HTTP, SSH, SQL, whatever it is, I make a sub note for it. So then when I'm enumer enumerating that service, I can enumerate in that sub page so I can just keep all my notes clear. 
Now, once I am done with a box, while it's still fresh in my mind, I go back to that main page and I create a lessons learned and I share my attack vectors. In that, I just share the specific attack vector and methodology I used for enumeration, for getting my initial shell, and for privilege escalation. I'm going to do that on every lab machine that I do in their lab, which between now and December 8th, that's going to be a lot of them. And then about a week before my exam, I'm going to formulate a cheat sheet in OneNote where I take, like, for example, port 80, uh, underneath port 80, I will have every attack vector and every enumeration strategy I used in the lab. So when I start the course and I'm attacking port 80, HTTP, I can pull up my cheat sheet and see, like, here are the eight things I did for enumeration and initial access on web servers in the labs. And hopefully that will save me some thinking time when I'm going through the course. So those are my four pieces of advice. Take them with a grain of salt. I have not passed the OSCP, so I might be telling you totally wrong advice, but I just want to share my thoughts as I go through this journey. Hopefully you found them helpful. Once again, my exam is December 8th. And my plan is as soon as I'm done with the exam, pass or fail, I will make a video on the spot sharing my raw emotion and, and just what my path forward is going to be. So thank you guys for being on this journey with me. Thank you for your patience that I have not been creating content as much, but that's because I've been grinding it out and studying for the OSCP. For the rest of you on this journey with me, good luck. Let's knock this out. I will catch you guys in the next video.